Hey Virgo, let's get into your weekend reading. Hope you guys are doing great. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, let's get started. All right, you're starting with Guardian Angel. Just so you know, a lost, a lost loved one is watching over you over this weekend. You also have communication coming in. You also have a letting go. You also have give it time. You have some caution to look at fire sign also being significant all right looks good so if you're new please smash that like button and do subscribe you want to become a member of my channel 2.99 per month and if you want to get a personal reading link is down below here under the video in the description box okay so you're starting with a guardian angel listen this weekend you're going to get some kind of sign that there's someone watching over you looking out for you okay so whatever your situation is going on if there's something like you're trying to get your blessing whatever you're doing whatever you're hoping for whatever you're you're wherever you're going you do have a guardian angel that guardian angel could be someone that's passed on or just a guardian angel since birth okay let's take a look and see yeah okay so queen of wands fire sign this is a fire sign. Now your guardian angel also <laughs> could be present still here today on earth, right? So this person has very good intentions for you. Masculine or feminine ener energy, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This person is watching out for you. Going to make sure that you're going to be okay. This person prays for you. They send good intentions. So you, you might find out about this or hear about this or come to realize this over the weekend. There you go. When the cards talk, the cards talk. That's your guardian angel. Everything's going to be all right. That's what I'm hearing. You're going to get what you need. Whatever's going on in your life right now, it, over this weekend, it's going to work out, especially. You're going to find out. You're going to hear. You might even get some of what you want mixed in with what you need. Okay, you're definitely being watched over. Your message here is to have patience. Keep the faith. Stay in balance. Stay in alignment. Don't worry. Don't have fear. Don't doubt yourself. Just know that all is well. All is well. Could be a Sag too. All is well with the universe. All is well. Will be well. In your, in your world, whatever's going on. Yep, and things are going to progress. Things are going to move forward. I'm telling you. Absolutely. Keep your eye on the prize, Virgo. Whatever you're doing. This is an energy. What I They're giving me like, you're going to come up smelling like roses, okay? That's what I, that's the biggest message that I'm getting. This thing is going to work out, okay? This thing is going to work out. It could have something to do with relocating or even getting that approval for a new vehicle or selling a vehicle getting a new job, relocating, traveling. There's some kind of action and change that's before you. Some type of journey. Get ready because somebody here is watching out and is going to make put all. It, so I'm hearing like it's going to set everything up and remove all the obstacles for you to get where you need to go. I love it. What a great way to start, right? Great way to start. Okay, now you have communicate. So you've got compromise, forgive, work it out. Okay. So there's some type of communication between two people. Looks like through text. There's going to be a compromise. There's going to be forgiveness. Whoops. Two people are going to be able to work something out here. Let's take a look. All right. Justice. Libra and energy. Fairness. Win-win solution. Coming in through some type of communication. And there's truth that comes out. Hmm. Might have something to do with a heartbreak. Okay. Something about some, some type of heartbreak or divorce or separation. There's going to be talk. Yep. And a potential new start of growth. Seeds get planted and growth. There's, there's, a, there's a new start happening here over this weekend. Okay. Might be like a divorce. There's a settlement, gonna be able to work things out through a divorce settlement, money, okay? Things are gonna get settled, 
finding out about that this weekend, be able to start over any kind of breakup or argument. Um, there might be something to do also with like somebody might be needing to, uh, there might be something to do with surgery in a leg. <laughs> surgery on a leg, okay? Or a limb, I should say a limb. <laughs> Not necessarily a leg, just a, a limb or a finger, a digit. Something. It's going to be something's going to work out. Okay. Um, settlement in a court as well. I'm picking up court settlement for maybe an injury. Everything's going to be okay as far as a relationship. Like I said, there's going to be compromise, communication, fairness in regards to, like I said, some kind of heartbreak, divorce, loss, anger, argument third party whatever it is things are going to work out okay looks so good already so now you also have <laughs> let go making room for the new beginning on its way make room for the new beginning on its way to you now virgo nice all right let's take a look what's coming towards virgo what's this new beginning all right Ooh, page of wands wow definitely some communication a new project for some of you or some creative idea it's gonna happen oh the Emperor bossing up in some kind of situation you might be getting um a raise salary increase uh, promoted find out finding out about this over the weekend yes yeah, you got good news that's twice now let go make room for the new beginning on its way to you Yep, you got so you have good news coming in. Some of you are getting that. Um, I'm feeling an increase. That's what the good news is. There's an increase. Something gets approved by like someone in an authority position. Yeah, and it's going to come in pretty quick. I mean, it gets a big change. You're not going to expect this. You're not going to expect this good news coming in. Okay? It's very positive. You might even hear from someone who's in an emperor position. Some of you are going to hear from your father. Some of you are going to hear from someone who is, like, could be an Aries, giving you good news. There might be, like, someone's interested in you as well on the love front. That energy is coming through. Somebody older. Is what I want to say. Older, the emperor is generally, I know a lot of you are older. <laughs> so it might be if, you know, up there in age, same age. There might be something like a, there's an adoption that gets approved as well. Or something about a child or a grandchild. Uh, a grandchild and a grandfather. Positive news. Very good. Okay, very good. Is there anything else? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cupid's arrows, too. I just want to say that. Somebody has a crush on you. I got a crush on you. Do, 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 do. That's such an oldie. You know me and my oldies. Yeah, uh, you're going to hear from somebody as well on the love front that's like super, super interested in you. Nice. All right. So, what else? You also have give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Wow. I feel like you're being called this weekend to just let go and let god man you know like let go keep the faith everything's gonna work out it's almost like you just gotta say to yourself you know what? it's fine it's gonna work out i trust i'm trusting the process i'm not gonna dwell i'm not gonna fear i'm not gonna have doubt i'm not gonna worry i'm just gonna keep the faith trust the process everything that is meant for me will be for me and i can't mess that up the only way i can mess it up is if i just choose not to believe it and if i choose not to have faith so give something time this weekend. Everything in divine timing. So let something flow this weekend. You gotta, you gotta let go of something. Yeah, look, you got some nine of swords energy. You got some anxiety, something keeping you up at night. Nightmares, anxiety, grief, depression, whatever it has to do with. Could have to do with an air sign. Queen of swords, masculine, feminine energy. Somebody might say something to you, totally honest. Uh, could be harsh. Could be someone who's divorced. But it also could be your energy. Getting some clarity on something over this weekend. 
okay in regards to king of cups right if so it, either in regards to an air sign or a water sign whatever you're stressing about over that person just leave it be let things flow let it go leave it be they're giving me the term just let them if someone doesn't want to talk to you let them if someone ch chooses somebody else let them if they're choosing you let them if somebody's not responding if they're not texting you back if they're saying mean things if they're well don't let anybody be rude to you right have your boundaries but people have the agency to make their own decisions just let them whatever is stressing you out in regards to these two signs or one sign just let i'm hearing let the dust settle let the dust settle let things just be don't try to control it just leave it leave it alone leave them alone go enjoy your weekend you have a lot of good stuff happening all right so you also have caution find out more information don't overwork yourself all right let's see i'm hearing read the fine print before you sign anything find out more find out more information get as much information as you can before you make a move and don't over but don't overwork yourself to the point where you're going down a rabbit hole let's see if you need to find help you need to ask for help for someone to help you get some more information or something that might help you not be the only one having to do it over overworking yourself there could be something here with contracts right like i said the lovers can represent contracts any contracts coming to you any negotiations or deals or going to commitment or partnership with anyone find out more information first don't kill yourself but you need to find out before you agree that's what i'm hearing yep keep your boundaries up be persistent with that be persistent with your boundaries boundaries mean not telling other people how they need to be but telling other people what you're not going to tolerate and what you will right it's not about controlling others it's about self-discipline and controlling yourself that's what boundaries is about we don't go around telling everybody this is the how you need to be if you're going to be with me no it's basically saying this is who i am and this is what i will and won't allow so you're free to do whatever you want you make your own decision but i'm making decisions about myself and i'm free to do that and this is what i'm doing right that's what boundaries are so don't feel pressured into agreeing to anything that you don't want to agree to Make sure you're 100% sure that what you want to do, you're taking all the necessary precautions before you agree. Right? Because you don't want a disaster. You don't want something to turn into a disaster. And what, what I sound like I'm drunk? You know, it's a, it's a disaster. I. <laughs> Let me get a little more of my caffeine. It's been so hot, you guys. I've, I've taken up Pepsi, diet Pepsi, diet. I know it's so bad for me. I used to tell someone they shouldn't drink soda because it's so bad for them. And then I caved and now I'm drinking it. It's fine. Um, yeah, the tower, <laughs> trust me when I say this. This could be a very phallic symbol as well for some of you. Be careful. Don't let your head, don't let your other head make decisions for you. Let the head on top of your shoulders make decisions for you and don't let anybody else's head make decisions for you <laughs> okay whether it's on their shoulders or between the legs because you'll have disgrace upheaval things won't work out you gotta be very careful that's what caution is because everything could fall to shit Ooh. s-h-i-p i said ship like a ship okay so be forewarned all right you've got fire sign here ending it starting it and ending it with a fire sign let's take a look you have aries leo sag gonna be significant this weekend let's see why oh get the fool hmm somebody coming into town to visit you someone from far away or there's a trip fresh hope someone taking a chance on a new path adventure beginning with a fire sign taking a leap of faith after a struggle ooh, yeah somebody's coming in and it's a fire sign now they could be fire sun moon rising or venus uh, there's a fire sign coming in could also they could be aquarius have fire in their chart as well
but there's a fire sign is going to be significant over this weekend. It's related to travel. Someone's taking a leap of faith. There's struggles over. They're freeing themselves. And this is like, it could be a long distance kind of thing. Right? Over the water. Oh, sorry. Carbonation burps. <laughs> sorry. <coughs> okay, let me see here. Give me a second. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of travel. Travel. I feel like the message is that somebody's finishing up some type of commitment or obligation. Okay? They're stressed. They're exhausted. It's time for R&R. &R. This person's coming to see you. It could be romantic or you could be going to them. They're waiting for you. It could be romantic. could be a friend, acquaintance, family member, whatever it is. That's the energy. So there's a lot of, there's six, I gave you six different things that could be playing out for the weekend for you. Strongest significant messages coming through that I feel like you need to pay attention to. It may not be all of them. It might just be one. It could be multiple. It could be just a few. It could be two. It could just be one. And for some, maybe none. But you just wait it out and see. Okay, this is the weekend energies. Now this does not mean that... <laughs> If this weekend, none of this happens, that's it. No. It's, so when we say energy, the energies are, are building over this weekend. This stuff could resolve by the middle of next week. It could come out in the, you know, going forward for the rest of the week. But I'm giving you this weekend reading to tell you that these energies are playing, are starting to play out here. So keep that in mind. All right, let's see what your messages of love. We'll take a look at that. <clears throat> All right, marriage. There's a relationship that's moving toward a sacred union. Okay, there's an external party intruding on a particular relationship. Could be friends, could be romantic. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Like I said, you are protected. That was the first message that came up. It's safe to trust in a situation here. All right, there are some obstacles, some un unhealed wounds that are that could be blocking movement forward. But I feel like, like in the very first message, when you have this guardian angel is helping to remove those obstacles for you, helping, I didn't say is completely removing them, but it is definitely picking up the bulk of the work. Okay, everything happens for a reason. Acceptance, something you need to accept and you need to have integrity. Is does whatever situation you're dealing with over this weekend going forward, does it align with your values and morals? It has to be what's best for you. At all times. At all times. So if you got like 10 things and nine of them are not best for you, but one is, it's a no-go. It's a no-go. No you must have at least five or more. Or even, I like my personal opinion, like maybe even eight or more. Eight of them have got to work. Sometimes we can compromise on a couple of things. But it must always be in your best interest. There's no people pleasing. There's no sacrificing your soul for anyone or anything that isn't going to bring you joy and happiness. That, that you weren't put on this earth to suffer. If you're going to settle for something, settle for, settle for the most that you can get. The most, always. <clears throat> all right, we're going to look at money and business and all that. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. I got cards that are like, some are to the left, some are to the right. All right, here we go. All right, what's the business energy? Business, career, finance. What else does Virgo need to know for this weekend's messages? Hope you guys, um, what are you doing this weekend? Anybody got any plans? Ooh. <laughs> Ending. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. Wow. That's on the table. That's on the table for the weekend. 
Let's see, you also have spiritual work. Doing some inner work can help you get clear before you move on. You will get insights into what work will be will best serve your needs. Okay. Hmm. Don't go, I just heard, don't go from the frying pan into the fire. Making lateral moves does not serve you. <laughs> it brings you security, but it doesn't serve you. There's something here about getting out of your comfort zone, making progressive moves, not lateral moves. Lateral moves buy time, you know? They're very secure. But if, if you want security and you're good with that and you're like, nah, I am not breaking any molds anymore, not at this stage in my life, fine, make a lateral move. If there's a job ends or a career ends, you're like, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not, I'm too old now. Can't te teach an old dog new tricks. I'm not trying to learn new things. I'll go find another job or I'll do the same thing I've been doing just at a different place. That's fine. Go ahead. But if that's not you and you're like, no, I got to break out. I got to be like Jim Morrison, break on through to the other side. I'm done with this. Doing some inner work can help you get clear before you move on to get insight into what work will best serve your needs. I'm like a preacher. All right, strategy. You need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. That's key. We all learn from each other. Find someone like a mentor to help you strateg strategize your moves in career and business and finance. They always say stick with those who've been, who've been involved in something for a long time. You know, surround yourself with people who are heading in your direction. Don't surround yourself with people who are not because they're going to just keep you down. They'll hold you back. You got renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track this weekend. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and break through. Maybe your guardian angel is Jim Morrison. You know, the day becomes the night. Night becomes the day. Try to run, try to hide. Break on through to the other side. That's your song. You need. Y'all need to get that on in your car. I'd play it, but YouTube would be like, nah, not happening. Let's take a look. All right, you have cultivation. You are in the growing phase right now, and you must continue to water the seeds that you have planted in order to reap the rewards. Yep, I'm always talking about that. Keep watering those seeds. Whoa. All right, they gave you your last cards. Limitations. Wow, look at her face. Obstacles are not what they seem. You can get around them with some careful thought or simply choose something better for yourself. I don't believe in going around obstacles. <laughs> I mean, you can. But I think if you break through obstacles, uh, the growth, your self-esteem will rise when you succeed. Okay, you have in the flow. The universe is sending you help. I told you, that's like your guardian angel. Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. Oh, they gave you two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Guidance. Divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. Look, I'm telling you. I once heard somebody say, pray and ask for your guardian angel's name and you will receive it within three days. So I did that. I know who mine is. I got her name. I have no idea who she is, but she's there. So I feel like maybe that's what you need to do if you want. You also have looking. It's okay to look for better work. Be discreet in your search. You need to be aligned with your life purpose to be fully satisfied. Listen, let me just tell you a little backstory. <coughs> We're at 25 minutes. <coughs> My asthma is really bad today, guys. Um, when I was married... I was going to go to nursing school when my kids got older and got into school, right? And out of the blue, life hit me on a Tuesday afternoon, and I found out my husband was cheating. He's messing around with some young girl. And my kids were <laughs> not fully all in. I had three sons, not all in school yet. So this was around early 2000s. So I, I didn't have a job because I was a stay-at-home mom, which I loved. 
I feel like that's the hardest pain, the hardest working job ever. <coughs> anyway, so my plans to go to nursing school got put on hold. So, because I went through this horrific divorce, it was terrible, and I, I struggled. So, I went through like a horrific, devastating period. Had a little bit of money to live on, had to move home, and then. Um, but my focus and my determination was to keep things for my sons as normal as possible because he was running off with different women and moving and it was just, it was so insane. And I stayed on my own. I stayed single. I, who had time for me? I was constantly driving. I had a minivan, y'all. I was driving these boys around everywhere, practices. I was trying to work, took some job in a real estate office, uh, whatever, just to try to get by. And then I wound up becoming a waitress because I'd done that when I was younger. And I needed quick cash. We lived in a two-bedroom apartment with three boys and myself. It was a struggle. And I wasn't making any money serving meatloaf to vets. Let me just tell you, I worked so hard. And it was like long hours, like 12 p.m. to like 10 or 11 at night. It was really, really hard. Thank God for my you know, family that was helping with the kids. And then one day... I'm working and I'm in the kitchen and I'm trying to get some stuff together for an order for a table and I'm, I get sexually harassed in the kitchen. This is my story, y'all. I got sexually harassed. Obviously, you can click off the reading if you don't want to hear it. And I was like, that is it. I'm sick of this. I can't deal with this anymore. It's like I, ha I work for $2 an hour plus tips and I'm getting attacked in the kitchen. Every time I complained, they were like... They say they would tell the guys in the back to stop, but they wouldn't stop. And they were a commodity. They weren't going to lose them. A waitress, dime a dozen. And I was like, I can't keep complaining. I got to get out of here. So I left and I sat there and I was like, what the hell am I going to do? So I ordered a tarot card reading from someone on YouTube, this lady, Sun Sunshine Tarot. I don't even know if she's still around. And she charged me 30 bucks. And I was like, 30 bucks? Man, it took me so long to make 30 bucks on a Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday night at this diner. <laughs> And I got the tarot card reading, and I was like, screw what she has to say. I know how to read tarot cards. And here I've been ever since. And I wound up getting myself in such a good place. And that was a blessing, you know. But I have always been aligned to spiritual things, to the, to the tarot, to astrology. That's been my thing since I was like seven years old. Always took an interest in the psychology aspect of it. And when I started, there weren't a lot of tarot card readers, so I was able to get my other channel up to where I got it to. But I can honestly say, when you pray about things, when you struggle with things, when you're just doing the best you can and refuse to be a victim because you want to be a thriver, when you're headed in that direction, I feel like your guardian angels and God, they, they put the path before you and they clear the way. They clear the way. And this doesn't have to be like, you don't have to be a single mom with kids or anything like that. Whatever, whoever you are, whatever situation you are in your life, faith, actually it's manifestation. Faith is manifestation in, in the altern, in, in, I don't know what you want to call it. In this world here, in this non-religious type of de denomination, this non-religious entity that we're all in, manifestation is faith. It's meditation. It's preying on things and keeping the hope. It's keeping positive. When you have positive outlook and positive mindset, positive things come to you. Light bulb moments. If you play a victim or if you blame everybody else, you're always going to be suffering. You're always going to be in that situation. And I'm born in the year of the rooster. I have the resiliency of a freaking bull. There is no way... <laughs> I'm going to be, plus I'm also half Leo. There's no way I'm going to be a victim. There's no way I'm ever going to suffer because I won't allow it. I have too much pride, <laughs> you know, uh, but, I, but when it comes to my kids, I break my pride. I have, if they need something, I'll go out, I'll do what, I'll do whatever. I'll, I, before when they were little, I did anything just to make sure that they were good. I don't know why I went off on all that. I don't think I've really ever shared that before, but you guys are awesome. And it's because of you all being here that my channel here has grown exponentially as well. This channel particularly. So I am 
what I like to say, a walking example of success. I'm not the richest person in the world, and I would never want to be, ever. But I've been down to the bottom, and I know that it's a struggle. I think everybody just wants safety. They want shelter. They want joy, happiness, family, food in the fridge. Those are the basics, and I'm totally fine with that. I'm not a materialistic person. Just pay my bills and give me a safe place to lay my head at night, and I'm happy as a, <laughs> what is it, a lark, a lark in a tree, whatever that is. So I just feel like, hey, especially if you want to get into doing tarot card readings, not because you got to have it in your heart. You want to help people? If you have that in your heart, if it's on, if it's on your... If it's meant for you to do that, I know some of you want to do that. If it's meant for you to do that, do it. Because it's, it's, it, for me, it wasn't even so much, at the time it was about being able to pay the bills like almost 10 years ago. But now it's, I know, but I've always loved it. But now it's just because I freaking, I love it. I love it. And when you chase your passions, the money comes. If you chase money, money doesn't ever, it's never enough. All right, let's get a couple more messages here. Y'all, come on. Sorry, I feel like I keep belching from the sodas. Please excuse me. I have no class. Okay, new passionate start. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. What are your passions? What are you passionate about that you can help others with, or anything, that would bring joy and happiness to other people that, that uh, you can actually paid to do i don't care if it's banking i don't care if it's real estate i love real estate or anything to do with real estate i don't care if it's you want to be a fitness trainer whatever what are you creative enough to do what can you do what are you passionate about some people just like painting rocks makes them feel good and people love them future plans choosing a path I'm saying okay and standing your ground stand your ground stand up for yourself stand your ground people won't respect you listen what's this old saying those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind okay that's your message. All right. I'm not going to pull any Chinese signs because we didn't have really anyone specific. I am going to get into some other messages for you. Oh, what do you have here? Wow. Love it. The end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness. There is travel or relocation headed your way. And we also have, look, 1986. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles, learning all you can about a subject or career. You might be going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor, right? Attention, paying attention to detail and doing skilled work that you love. I feel like that's what we were talking about. You also have justice. Be, a par be impartial and objective stand up for what you believe stand your ground try to see all sides of a situation you will win if your position is one of integrity and you had that does something line align with your morals and and your integrity and your values two of cups falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship forgiveness and the ending of a challenge there will be an exchange of gifts don't give up on people not only that you love, but who love you in return. And Queen of Swords. I feel like this is your energy, really. Brilliant, of course. Experienced, humorous, judgmental. <laughs> Re releasing situations or people that no longer serve you this weekend. Seeing the humor in a difficult situation. You got to laugh. You got to laugh. That's, that's the ultimate antidepressant. Focusing on your career, you might be divorced or unmarried. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. Financial security for yourself and your family is coming. 
inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in your family tree, and passing on that great knowledge. I feel tremendously uplifted. Tremendously. Although, listen, any of you in those earthquake-prone areas, I think up in Canada or Vancouver, I just want to give you a shout-out. I pray that you guys will be safe. I'm not saying, like, oh, you know, Oregon's going to fall into... Uh, or Canada is going to fall into the sea. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking about you and wishing you all well. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's get some charms. All right, we got Capricorn. We have Zileo and Gemini. Significant over this weekend. All right, we have December. First, it started as December, and then I saw February, so that could be significant. Okay, we have somebody's 38. We have 82. If I call your number, however it relates to you, we have 50. It was September 8th, August 24th, September 12th, 1987, 1973, someone's 34, August 29th, 1972. I forgot to get rid of my charms yesterday. Whoops. Wait, did they just fall out of my cup? All right, they don't count. They're old. 43, September 5th, 1962, 57, 1961, August 31st, as per usual. All right, let's get some names. We have Jocelyn. Someone drives a GT. We have Joseph or Joe. Uh, Matt, Matthew, Pam, Pete, Peter, I and E and N always show up. There's always an E in. July is a significant month. Holla. And September 17th. Holla. Holla, holla. Okay. Let's see. I have Cody. Pick it up, Cody. Uh, Lacey, Lacey, okay, Guinevere, I just heard, or Gwen, somebody's outside right now, listening to this reading, mm. two peas in a pod, Pem, P-E-M, P is -E in Pat, E, M is in Mary, Pem, okay, hmm, Tara, I hope I'm not breathing like Darth Vader in this mic. I have to get like a cover for it. Mandy, somebody's name is Mandy. I know sometimes, can you guys pick up names in here? Picking up Guy, I'm picking up Giuseppe. I think that's a U. Somebody's drinking out of a cup. Someone's in Cuba. We have Iowa. I'm hearing Iowa. Massachusetts. Mm, U of P. University of Pennsylvania. Uh, Tonga. Ooha, uh, ooha. Somebody's a goat. Born in the year of the goat. Did I say Tammy? getting Tammy again if I didn't say it Puck somebody's name is Puck remember Puck if you remember the name Puck and that instantly triggers a memory you know what I'm talking about leave it in the comments or in the chat Puck somebody's got like a garden in their backyard it's like a little o oasis it's like a little oasis or must have a, their own little oasis Janet Putnam. Is that somebody's last name? Or place where they live? Putnam. Could be somebody might be in Vietnam. Um, cut me. What the? Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Somebody's saying, you cut me. Are you getting your nails done? Be careful. Watch your cuticles. Watch your. I'm hearing your cuticles. Be careful with your cuticles. All right. JT. Somebody's name is Queen. Queenie. 
All right, any charms? What do we have for charms? Again, with this damn turtle. I cannot get rid of the turtle this week. Turtle has been everywhere, you guys. Almost in every single reading. All right, you got two hearts here coming together, entwined. Two lovers showing up here over the weekend. Or it could re be reminiscent that your heart is attached to someone and they to yours. And yeah, like I said, a turtle. Something going very slow. Very, very slow. But you know, in the story of the turtle and the hare, the turtle wins the race, right? You know that, right? <laughs> Persistence. It's not about how fast you go. It's about the fact that you just keep going. You don't need to compete with anyone but yourself. So don't look at other people. Don't watch what other people are doing. Unless you're just trying to get some ideas. But don't compete with anybody. Unless you're in an actual competition. And you're trying to run the race to win. However. That's probably really not the message. The message is. When you stay focused on what you're doing. The task in front of you. With that tunnel vision. You will win. You will get to the end doesn't matter how fast you're going like uh, I say unless you're running an actual race but if you keep looking to the side you're going to get worried and panicked and nervous and you're going to lose focus the, the key to winning is to be focused to have laser focus along with persistence and staying steady and moving forward right and I feel like with the turtle right now that's your message here doesn't matter how, it's not about how fast you go it's about that you just keep going okay and you also have a flamingo so Hey, pink flamingo showing up over this weekend. Something to do with a pink flamingo. Maybe they're out in your yard or your neighbor's yard. And you're like, geez, can, oh, I wish they would take those things down. Maybe it's a drink or it's a place you're going over this weekend. It's just the word. Pink flamingos. Something to do with pink flamingos. All right, I'm done. It's the weekend. I'm going out to play. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend yourselves. Let me see if anybody has joined the, the uh, membership. Don't forget to go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. Put a like on the videos. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I do all the other zodiac signs. I just started doing them again. Um, let's see. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone new? Yep, same people. All right. You guys, sorry for the belching. <laughs> it's the freaking soda. What do you want? Like, I can't with this. I'm like a total... And it's funny because when I drink my soda, I, I'm not belching every, anywhere. It's only when I have to record a damn video and the audio and I have the microphone. It's like, uh, you can hear my stomach growling and like, whatever. I'm going to the pool or maybe the beach. Have a fantastic weekend. Love you guys very much. Thanks for being in the chat. Shout out to all the mods. I will see you guys back here on Monday. Love you very much. Bye.